Hello friends, this is Praveen and as we are continuing our news feeder project. So in last video we saw how to retrieve JSON data from MongoDB and uh, we used JSON builder, JSON reader. This task we have done. So now what is the production requirement uh, that your application should be scalable it should not only be able to handle some 10 records some thousand records it should be able to handle millions of records so in order to do that uh, we should we should uh, we should create a thread for this task we should create a separate thread we should run as a separate process and this week uh, in this video we would like to see how to create thread for it for the process of retrieving data in json format and in this we can use jaxrs uh, jaxrs uh, uh, asynchronous response concept we can use so uh, th that is that is best way so that uh, we can increase the throughput and if there is any idle thread we can we can utilize uh, that idle thread also so let us see how to create that so i'm going to create another class and i'm going to name it news items process so this is also going into rest and news item process should implement runnable we can import this we have run method uh, that we have to specify in order to create thread for it so whatever task uh, we have performed here this we can transfer so in get method this db collection and this we can transfer and we can paste here DB best size OID these we should So we can say private final mongo feed feed db this we want to like and we can say private final integer batch size private final string oid and
private panel async response So we have created these member variables feed db, batch size, oid, asynchronous and I have imported this asynchronous response. Now this is complaining so you can create constructor here so source insert code and constructor so I am selecting all these and generate constructor so we have got member variables constructor and we have provided our logic in run I'm going to save this and this also you can save so now in in news items what we can do in instead of uh, instead of giving this response directly we can use executor like in app starter we we had this executor so same executor we can use for resuming our services so we can paste it here and same executor we can use so for that we can provide one more suspended async in order to use async response We can import this container async response and suspend it. So if if you want to use asynchronous response, you have to use this async response object and suspend it. Now we can do we we can we can give executor and we can submit this process item so this this news item process we can submit to executor so this logic we can provide so we don't want to return anything return void and we can use executor executor dot submit and submit is accepting runnable so as our runnable is news item process so we can say new news items process So 
This you can import. And you can provide these values. So PDB as news items process constructor is accepting PDB batch size OID async response. So these we can provide PDB batch size OID async. Sync, async response. Okay, so PDB, we have PDB, batch size, OID, and async response. This we can provide. So, this executor we are using, and all those same properties we are providing. So, this will this will be helpful in, in, uh, in getting maximum throughput of our ideal threads so this we can say and now now in in json we we are doing this builder dot add so we are building our json response so here you can you can resume your response so you can say a sync Sync response dot resume and as you can see resume is accepting response object and it is returning boolean so what is a response object it is response dot okay and in response dot ok we would like to provide builder dot build dot build so uh, it will not this builder dot build So we are resuming our asynchronous response here and we are providing logic for that. So I think this is done now and if we do clean and build again, let us see if it is working, why this is complaining. So if I do now clean and build
and after clean and build uh, we would like to run this application and we'll see a response so this build is success and then you can run it Now you can see this application is running and if I if I do this so you can see we are we are able to get the response. So let us say if we want to dispatch twenty records So here you can see we are getting the desired response in JSON format. Okay guys, thank you for watching. We'll continue this project and we'll we would like to create our own REST client uh, in order to consume this response. Thanks for watching.